you can glow up right now. Welcome to your brand new high maintenance beauty routine to keep you low maintenance throughout the entire week. Because girl, I am not ashamed to admit that I do all of this so that I can look like this on a daily basis. Well, I guess besides the makeup, but that, that, that's not what we're talking about here, okay? Now, I am so sure that you have seen high maintenance to be low maintenance beauty routines all over your For You page. But like, what does that even mean? A high maintenance beauty routine is simply a routine that you spend a lot of time, money, and effort on so that you don't have to put time, money, and effort into your everyday appearance. That's all. Okay, yeah, Sydney, I understand that, but like, why would I need a high maintenance beauty routine? That sounds like a lot of work. Yes, admittedly, it can be a lot of work depending on the routines that you want to maintain. But one, it does not have to be. And two, why would you not want to take advantage of spending maybe one day or two days focusing on your beauty routine so that you can go weeks, months even, without having to touch your appearance? Uh... Sounds like a no-brainer to me, Sydney. Give me um that one for a thousand, Sid. Wait, Sydney, sorry. This sounds like it's gonna cost me a lot of money that I like actually don't have or want to spend. Come close, yeah, you, come. Come closer. Honestly, on the internet, most people have started to equate high maintenance with expensive. I'm here to tell you that it actually does not have to be that way at all. It can be very expensive, but everything I'm gonna tell you today has an at-home version that is dramatically cheaper. Just in case you were worried, just, just keep watching. God, I'm, I was gonna get to that part. Okay, you can, okay, okay, back up now, God. I'm gonna be providing my experience and expertise on the professional beauty regimens that you can get, but you can also get half of this stuff off Amazon. I'm not even gonna hold you. It'll all be linked, you're welcome. The first beauty regimen you need to be adding to your list is getting your lashes done. Yes, I said it. You need to be flap, 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 flying away. Lashes are undoubtedly the ultimate hot girl look. Across all beauty types and aesthetics and styles, lashes always eat. Why? Because they look good with makeup on and they especially look good when you don't have any makeup on at all. It gives that natural no makeup makeup look, but I actually have fake lashes on. And let's be honest, all of your favorite celebrities are wearing lashes, so why aren't you? All of your favorite influencers are wearing lashes, so why aren't you? Everybody you say you want to be is wearing fake lashes. So why aren't you? Mmm, never thought about that, did you? Oof. Awkward. Honestly, it's a small change, but it makes a huge difference because it's right here in your face. Everybody is going to see a difference in your appearance as soon as they start talking to you. Now, you could be simple, and I love simple, nothing wrong with simple, and do your lashes daily. Get a lash serum, get some L'Oreal telescopic mascara, and eat the girls down. With a makeup look, with no makeup look, that will lengthen your lashes and give you a fuller effect. But you could be not simple and get lash extensions. I recommend lash extensions to literally everybody. I'm wearing lash extensions right now and there's two ways that you can effectively get lash extensions for yourself. You could use lash clusters or you could go to a lash tech. I just actually went to a lash tech for the very first time myself, which was honestly an experience. I learned a lot and I'm thinking about making a video when all of these lashes fall out. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Or instead of booking an appointment, go right on Amazon, girl. Go on Amazon, next day shipping and get yourself a $15 lash kit. That's gonna come with all the glue, the tweezers, the everything that you need to start your lash clusters. Let me do some quick math. It's gonna be about five cents in the lash tray. Depending on how you use lash, you're probably about five. If you reapply them once a week, which is generous, that's a month of fresh lashes for a $15 startup cost and under $10 every other time for an entire month and a little bit more. That's a lot. That's good value. At the beginning of the week, slap on your lash clusters and you're good to go. They're both gonna fall out at the same rate and honestly give you the same look. Don't tell the lash techs I said that, but give you the same look. So it's really up to you which path you choose. If you want something that's extremely affordable, can be done anytime, but you have to do it yourself, go do the lash clusters. But if you're here looking for convenience, you want a more customized look. Is it expensive? Yes, but it'll last just a tiny bit longer and you don't have to do it yourself. Girl, go book a lash appointment. The next high maintenance thing you can add to your beauty routine that will really elevate your appearance is nails. Why I'm telling you to put on nails when I don't have any nails on, I... Brother, ugh. Really, I, I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, okay? No, but... <laughs> I took out these nails so I could do my hair. Maybe that's a good enough excuse, it's not. Nails are truly such a small part of your appearance, just like the lashes, but every single time they will elevate you. Having anything done to your nails, even having them nice and shaped up will go such a long way. When I have my nails done, people always, always, always compliment me on them. And truthfully, I don't spend more than five bucks and 20 minutes on my nails these days. And I get compliments left and right. So you can go to the nail salon or you can buy yourself 
love some press-ons. Child, I love a press-on. They have hundreds, and when I say hundreds, I mean hundreds, maybe even thousands of beautiful press-ons that you can buy right now off of Amazon. You can buy BTA Artbox nails that look just like acrylic. Buy the Sally's glue, you have a set for a month. I would never lie to you, babe. Some of us girls don't like doing our own nails. Some of us girls don't have about an hour to spend on our own nails. Some of us girls want convenience. We'll pay for convenience, and to that I say, same. I will go to the nail salon every now and again, and I love it. It's so girl -a la It's my own personal therapy. My suggestion to add into your beauty routine if you care about the health of your nails is to do Gel X nails. Yes, some people call them a glorified press-on, but child, I don't know. I had a Gel X set, and I don't know what magic that man used on me, but that set lasted for like a month and a half. It was bad. It lasted too long, and not one popped off. They looked just like my real nails. I love them. Also, with going to the nail salon, you can have a more customized set if that's your gig. I love expressing myself through my nail art. So if you're not talented at nail art, this is a salon, babe. <laughs> Don't even try it at home. <laughs> You know you can't do a French tip. French tip looking like Switzerland. Go to the salon. <laughs> and don't forget, keep those toes painted. I feel like we always forget when we talk about nails, the toes are there too. Depending on your preference, you can do whatever you want to your toes. I just slap a regular polish and a top coat on it and they will last on my nails for like a month. But going to go get a pedicure is so important or doing the pedicure yourself. Why? Because what happens the day you want to put on an open toe shoe? You're saying it's winter right now, Sydney. Why do I need to put on open toe shoe? Heels. You wear heels. I wear heels. I love a good heel <laughs> until I put my foot in it and every single nail is cracked. Ooh. Now I have 30 minutes before I have to leave the door and I have to paint my toes. No. We need to go, what? High maintenance and make sure we're painting our toes at the very least monthly. You're welcome. Just a reminder. <sighs> I once heard a wise woman say, the eyebrows are the windows to the soul. I'm joking. I never heard anybody say that before, but I think it's true. That's my personal belief. I don't know what it is, but having your eyebrows done completes your face. It's probably very similar to my understanding about lashes is that like everybody is looking at you right here all day long. So why would we not take care of these right here? Doi. There is some kind of untapped magic to getting your eyebrows shaped up, trust me. And personally, there are two ways that I would recommend you doing this so that your eyebrows last for at least least a month. There are some short-term solutions, but eyebrow hair grows so fast, it's not really even worth it. The two ways I would recommend you keeping your eyebrows clean and polished is either getting them waxed or getting them threaded. I've done them both and they both give me somewhat similar results. I think waxing is a bit sharper, but threading works as well. And I've never paid more than $15 for somebody to do my eyebrows before. That's pretty affordable. Or if you're bold like me, you'll wax your own eyebrows at home. Yes, I have my own waxing kit and I do wax everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. It's definitely a little bit of a learning curve, but the amount of money you spend on waxing services, I probably spend 20 bucks on a bag of wax every four to six months. So look into it. Just don't take this advice and then go and wax off your entire eyebrow. That is not what I was telling everybody to do, please. Okay, now we can talk about my favorite subject, which is hair. I love talking about hair, but we are going to keep it brief because everybody's hair is so different and what everybody loves to do to their hair is so different. But for this high maintenance, its beauty routine, you're gonna wanna keep a style in your back pocket. Whether it's something that you can schedule with your beauty salon or something that you can do in a pinch at home, have a signature style. Have a style that no matter what it is, you can wake up and in 30 minutes, your hair looks polished and slayed. Look, look at my hair. This is a hairstyle I did on my hair. It is a little bit wavy, but this is now a week long of this hairstyle, a week long of looking polished and put together, a week long of not having to wake up and do my hair. Have your signature style and keep it together. Now, now let's go from my favorite subject to my most dreaded subject, skincare. Actually, I don't dread it. It's just so different and so individualized. So making sure that you have a routine that works for you. Yes, this is not something that you can do once a month and then it sticks with you, but spend your money, invest in the right product. A high maintenance skincare routine is more about being proactive than reactive. With your skin, it is so hard. It is so hard once something happens to go back and it is so much easier to be proactive and and prevent breakouts, prevent dryness, prevent hyperpigmentation, all of those things before. If you're an acne girly like me, you're gonna wanna keep your skincare routine simple. Honestly, if you're anybody, you're gonna wanna keep your skincare routine simple. How do you keep a simple skincare routine? You don't put this and this and this and that and this and that on your face every single day. You ever wonder why men have such great skin? They literally wash their face with a bar of soap. Keep it simple and then add in things whenever you're gonna need them. Don't just add in things for fun. My foolproof skincare routine is four steps long. 
long. Honestly, really only two steps because you should be doing the other two steps anyway. Every single day, I'll cleanse or double cleanse if I have makeup, I'll use maybe a serum and then I'll moisturize and then I'll use SPF. That's it, point blank period. I'll add in a serum or maybe a toner if I'm feeling as if I need it. Truly the more simple, the better. You're experiencing less breakouts. And if you keep your routine consistent, then when you add something in, you'll be able to point out, oh, I just added this new serum that I've been using for maybe two weeks. I broke out completely. Let me stop using this. This is breaking me out. Whereas when you have five, six, seven, eight, nine different products, you'll never really know what's affecting your skin and how. Okay, Sydney, you keep talking, truly. But what about those of us who don't care anything about our appearance? <sighs> Oh, wow. Thanks for asking another question. Mm. Luckily for you, a high maintenance beauty routine does not only have to do with your outside appearance. You can maintain a high maintenance beauty routine focusing on your inside appearance, right? We always like to say beauty comes not only from outside, but within. And how do we fix our insides? We maintain them. I like to do that by staying in the gym, staying fit, staying on top of my fitness. I'm not a gym rat, nowhere close to a gym rat, but at the very least, I try to get my 10k steps a day if I'm being sedentary for a long time or I'll go to the gym maybe like once or twice a week because all of this is going to be up to your body type and your lifestyle what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't need to be extensive but moving your body being healthy is so beneficial and if you make it high maintenance if you make it a goal if you put it forward if you invest time into it you will see the benefits it's not about aesthetics it's not about any of that it's about getting your insides good your energy everything will be better. Your sleep will be better because you went and you moved your body. Okay, off my exercise high horse. Another thing you can do is vitamins and supplements. I'm lacking in vitamin D. A lot of my melanated baddies, you're probably lacking in vitamin D as well. These days we do not get nearly enough nutrients from the food that we eat because we know where the food we eat comes from. Actually, because we don't know where the food we eat comes from. That's actually why. <laughs> We're not getting enough nutrients. You need to be taking some type of multivitamin to compensate for all the nutrients that we are not getting these days from our food. And that's it. That is your brand new high maintenance beauty routine. Wow, easy, right? It's not even that high maintenance. It's just spending, like I said, a day or two so that you don't have to spend every single day, every single morning before going to work, before going to school to maintain the appearance that you want. High maintenance to be low maintenance. It works. Again, we're in our glow up season. So take these regimens to heart and let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna be adding any of them to your beauty routine or if you already do all of these things. I would love to hear how taking the initial investment of either money or time has made you low maintenance in the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a like if you liked it and subscribe to this channel for more. Let me know what type of videos you guys wanna see from me because I'm back on the YouTube game. I say that once every Three, three months but i'm actually serious now thanks for watching bye y'all i forgot to wear my earrings in this video i'm kind of sad about it <coughs> mourn with me okay i'm out of mourning thank you this is not sponsored by panera bread but it could be the first beauty regiment mm, english